Good morning, friends. Today is Monday. <sighs> and hopefully I saw the vlog before this. Um, I want to give you a little update. I didn't even, oh my gosh, I feel such like a bad vlogger. I moved the living room around again. Like, no. <laughs> I put the TV there, the thing back over here. I put my desk there, my Bible desk printer. <sighs> because the baby's room is now in my son's room. So now she's sleeping with my son. And I don't even know if I showed y'all this already. And then my Zeke is in here now, as you can tell. He already has a mess. <laughs> but here's the update on here. I still gotta find, <clears throat> let me see. I still gotta find um, like a little baskets or whatever to organize that little space right there and figure out how to organize it because I have so many sheets. But today's Monday. And I have to clean, to clean Zeke's room. Oh my goodness, everyone's screaming. Let's go. I gotta make your pizza. No. Uh, no. Anyway, uh, she's she's still kind of wheezing a little bit, but for the most part, she hasn't thrown up. This child wants pizza, and I don't have time to make the dough or whatever. I was gonna put these in there. Anyway, she sounds a little wheezy, but that's better than what she sounded before. And she sounds a lot better now. And, and uh, so she's doing a lot better now. Anyway, I think I've tried to record like three times and Zeke just wants to act like he's never been spanked before. <laughs> Why do kids do that so much? Anyway, I am, <sighs> it's a busy day today. Well, for me, it's a busy day. Like it's, it's probably just a normal Monday for everybody. But for me, I have to wa finish washing, uh, fold the clothes, put it up, change my sheets, clean Zeke's room. We put him in the room by himself because my oldest got tired of like, I always have to clean, it's his mess, I'm tired of cleaning it. And my oldest usually keeps his room pretty clean. And so we're like, why don't we just put the baby back with my oldest? And she's been sleeping in there fine. <clears throat> and put Zeke in his room by himself. That way it's a smaller room and it'll be easier to clean. <clears throat> and some of those toys, he don't even play with them. He just throws them on the floor because he wants to throw them on the floor. <sighs> it's just frustrating. <laughs> anyway, I am trying to find meat so I can cook for tonight. What? It's empty. Okay, hold on. 
I know I had chicken thighs. I just gotta find them. Okay, I found that. I'm going to try to make chicken thighs and skirt steak fajitas for dinner today. Oh man, my kids today are just acting up today. Well, not acting up, they're just really whiny and I don't know why. very whiny. It is later, way later, it's seven o'clock. <clears throat> I uh, finished washing, changed our sheets, finished cleaning Zeke's room. I went to pick up my oldest from school, did homework, um, made dinner. I made beef fajitas. I washed dishes, I cleaned up. Um, my husband went to a fire meeting. He should be back anytime already. But I'm cleaning my face because uh, when I make fajitas inside, I feel like all that oil just sticks to my face. <coughs> and I hate that feeling on my face. <laughs> So, I'm gonna clean my face with that pore cleanser. Um, I have the baby on my bed in like a little bouncy. She's secure and everything, but. I'm just scared my son's gonna jump on her and she's gonna tumble down. But uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm not doing anything else tonight. I am tired. I had Bible study. We just got done with Bible study. It was really good. I was talking about abiding in Christ and how abiding in Him and uh, loving Him can lead to so much joy and and it does it, it really does but um i'm gonna end the vlog and i am going to relax for the rest of the night because i am tired <laughs> but if y'all haven't seen what i clean my face with you come with us <clears throat> it's really good i'm gonna let my face dry and then i'm gonna put some kind of um, moisturizer on it. And I'm gonna use this. 
This is like gold. <laughs> it really, during the winter, my hands get very, like, very dry. And I hate the way they look because they get all like, they look like they're burned. <clears throat> and this has been helping my hands a whole lot. Like, I wish I took a picture of what they would, what they look like before. Like, they would be so dark all right here. And this has helped me so much. But I'm gonna end the vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I had done all my wifey duties on Monday. What wifey duties? And yesterday I just, I just didn't do nothing. I didn't even cook. So, but today we came to the dentist. He uh, didn't have, his, their appointment wasn't until May. That's how good they were. But yesterday I guess somebody canceled. So he got in today. Um, but yeah, we're going back already. I'm trying to sun not to have a face. But I will see you guys in a little bit. Hi friends. It is I. It's me. <laughs> um I'm looking uh clothes for my son. Today is, man, what's today? Today is Thursday, I think. Um, I didn't finish recording yesterday. I fell asleep. I was asleep by nine o'clock. I was out. Um, so I didn't record anything else yesterday. Uh, but today we are making enchiladas today. I have set out the meat yesterday to make enchiladas, but, um, we ordered pizza from a pizza place yesterday. So we did that. But... You know what? He's going to be all camel today. <laughs> but I'm going to make him too last today. Um, I feel so tired. Like, so, so tired. And I don't know why. But anyway. Um, we don't have nothing planned today. Just that. Making it too loud. Um... My son did really good. Oh, my son did really good yesterday with the dentist. He has two cavities in the back of his molars, but the dentist said that he uh, that he they're gonna fall out within a couple months, so he's not worried about them. And I look so swollen. 
And um, so he's not worried about them, but I asked him if he needed braces and he said no. He's like, his two teeth, these teeth right here, he, they're kind of coming in, he said, but that's normal. They'll straighten out through time. But if, like cosmetics, if I wanted them to be like real straight, then I could, you know, get them. But as of now, he doesn't need, <sighs> he doesn't need braces. Um, so I am going to change my son. He's eating breakfast. Well, he's right here. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, and the baby's up there. She loves being up there. She loves being up there because she can see everything. She can see everything and she can see what everybody's doing. Yeah. So she's content being up there. And that's good for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to clean up the kitchen a little bit. And I will see you guys in a little bit. So, I am going to start on making the enchilada sauce. Now, this enchilada sauce, my mother-in-law showed me how to make it. I don't know why I did that. Um, it's all preference, I guess, because I've seen people make like a gravy, like an enchilada gravy, dip their tortillas in it and just do it like that. Um, to me, that to me that's harder. <laughs> I don't know. But I use, I use these. These are the ones I use. And I have a lot of bags of them. Because <clears throat> this enchilada sauce is not just for enchiladas. Yeah, yeah. Z2. This is chilada sauce. You can make different things with them. But anyway, I use that and I also use a little bit of these because these are very spicy. Oh gosh. Trying to do anything with this child is like. Oh man. But anyway, I take out the top part and I take most of the seeds out. Dump them in the water. I use, I don't know, it just depends. I use about like five to ten of these, depending on how big they are. These are pretty big. So I'm going to use like, I don't know, nine, probably ten of them, eight of them. No, I'm going to do, how many is that? Five. I'm gonna do like seven because I want this enchilada sauce to be a little spicy. And I'm gonna use like, I don't know. Not all of it. Let me see. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use like four maybe. I'm gonna use like four, because those are pretty spicy. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let that boil until they become red again. 
And while that's boiling, I'm going to put about two to three garlic cloves in there as well because I'm going to blend it. <clears throat> so this is going to boil for a little bit. I don't know, I'll probably put some more of these big ones in there again because these little ones are pretty spicy. So I'll probably put more. I put seven of them, I think, in there. I just put all of them. <laughs> I have two left. <laughs> I just go ahead and put the remaining. Because even if we have enchilada sauce left over, um, I am going to save it. Because with that same enchilada sauce, that same enchilada sauce, I can make, um, what is it called? I can make um, chilaquiles with it. And I'll probably make it one day and show you what, how I make that. <clears throat> so, I'm going to wait till that's done. It's only like one o'clock. I'm not gonna start making them till like probably four, four fifteen. But I want to make the sauce already because um, you kind of have to wait a little bit because it's very hot on blending it. Anyway, that's what we're gonna wait on. So. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I've, uh, I look at, when I edit my videos, I like watch the video, right? And I see how tired I look sometimes. And I don't know, I don't know why I look so tired. I mean, I do know why, because I've gained weight. Um, it's been five months since I've had Kalila. And I don't know, I just, I'm tired of carrying this weight around. Like, I'm tired of it. <laughs> and this is the biggest I have been even before. Like, I, I had my Otis, I didn't gain a lot of weight with my Otis. And then I had Zeke and after Zeke I gained weight and I lost it. And then with Kalila, this is the biggest Kalila's, having Kalila, that has been <clears throat> like the most difficult pregnancy, the most difficult healing process, and just, I'm not, I don't feel depressed, I don't feel like down, nothing like that, I just feel tired, like, I'm tired of feeling that way, if that makes sense, and so... I don't know, I need to make the change. I need to just, and I'm sleeping later and I don't like that. I used to get up at like seven, six o'clock, make my husband lunch, stay up. And then after that, I would wake up at like eight, read, do whatever. But it's just, I need to stop drinking coffee. I need to, um, start making shakes again. I used to make shakes and all these things and I just can't find the motivation to do it. And I'm getting tired of it, if that makes sense. I'm getting tired of this heaviness that I feel and my feet hurt all the time. I just need to do something. I need to change because I don't like feeling this way. And I need to, because I, I used to have, what is it, what's the app called? I forgot what it's called. But it would tell me how much I was eating, if I was overeating, stuff like that. And I need to get back on that and just portion myself, drink a lot of water and just water. Um, 
I haven't drank Coke, <clears throat> but I don't want to start drinking Coke. And I know coffee's a lot, like a part of it. And oh, I don't know, I just need to make the change because I, look, that's, it's like eating at me, I guess. <laughs> And I think we need to, I need to stop drinking coffee for a while and just drink water and get my sugars back to normal level. And that's why I feel so tired because instead of waking up and drinking water, I wake up and drink a full cup of coffee and then eat and then drink water. When used to, I would wake up, drink water, drink my tea, whatever, and go about my day. And I feel like all my clothes are fitting tighter and I look pregnant again. I'm almost tired of looking at it. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm going to try to portion myself again. I'm going to not eat as much, <clears throat> start drinking shakes and just get this weight under control and start working out. My sister's been working out and so that's a little motivation because uh, when I used to work out, we would tell each other like, I did this much and this is the video I watched and this is what I did and this is what I ate. And so we're gonna start doing that. So I'm going to be full vulnerable in putting these videos out and showing you my workouts, showing you what I eat and just, get this thing under control so I just wanted to put that out there it was heavy on my mind and I just wanted to put that out there what Mom. Mom. what okay well let's go Baby, baby. Right here. Right here. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's it is. Don't drink it. Don't. Don't. Okay. Okay, you're making a mess. Okay, now that they're like puffed up and soft, you see how soft they are? I am going to turn it off and let it just soak in there. Let it cool down and let it soak in its own like flavor or whatever, in its own water. And uh, probably about a couple, like 10, 15 minutes, I'll come back and look at it and then blend it. Okay, now that, it's, now that it's soft, we got real like, see how red they are now? So, and it's cold down. I'm going to blend it. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what it looks like now. You want it to be kind of watery. That. Be careful with this sauce because it stains everything. So just, I already stained this. So just be careful, that's what it looks like now. Okay, now I'm going to strain it because there's still a lot of the skin of the um, peppers on in the mix, so you have to strain it. Let it cook for a little bit, and there you have your enchilada sauce. You can modify it the way you want it. You can add whatever seasoning you want, how spicy you want it. It doesn't matter. You can add whatever you want to it. But there it is. And I'm gonna let this cook on low for a little bit until it turns a little bit more red, and we're done. Soil that is a combination of soil and rock. Wait, is it? No, no. I'm saying, you're getting very good. 